It is Ultimate Fight Night coming up this weekend as uh, the main event sees Corey Sanhagen taking Umar Nurmagomedov in the bantamweight division. So let's look at just a couple of the key fights. Not going to be as in-depth of a breakdown as we normally do for the pay-per-views, but this is a pretty good fight night card. So let's get into it. Uh, first, we have Mackenzie Turn, uh, Dern taking on Lupi Godinez in the women's strawweight division. Dern has lost three of her last four. The only win... A kind of contested decision victory over Angela Hill, while uh, the Canadian Godinez uh, lost in her last fight, ends a four-fight winning streak. This is an absolute must-win for Mackenzie Dern. That There is absolutely no mistaking it. Mackenzie Dern needs to win this fight if she is going to kind of carry any weight as a prospect in this division. And Lupi is a really, really tough fighter and a very talented one at that. Um, she is not going to have the full support of her camp um, as the a person who is very important to her. Her sister is off in the goddamn Olympics right now. So uh, there's that going on. But I, I th there's just something in me that's like, I don't, I just don't see Dern losing this fight. And I, I again, I'm a big fan of Loopy um, in the, the, the women's strawweight division. I just feel like this is such an important fight for Dern. We have to see the best version of her. And so because of that, I think she comes away with a victory in this bout. Tony Ferguson against Michael Chiesa at welterweight. There isn't really a whole lot to discuss, unfortunately. I think Tony Ferguson is just done. Um, not that Michael Chiesa is this young up-and-comer or anything like that, but I just think that Tony Ferguson's time has come, and I, I think it'll be very apparent this weekend in a bout with um, Michael Chiesa. In the bantamweight division, it's Marlo Chido Vera against Davison Figueredo. Vera has lost two of his last three, but those losses coming to O'Malley and this weekend's headliner in Corey Sandhagen, uh, the win coming over Pedro Munoz. While Figueredo back-to-back -back wins, moving up to bantamweight over Garbrandt and Font, uh, the former flyweight champion, has certainly made an impact in the move up to 135 pounds. And I think that continues this weekend. Um, I, I just think Davison Figueredo, we have clearly seen the power has translated up to 135 pounds. Even though he hasn't got a knockout victory yet, um, he is a very talented fighter. And Vera got the title opportunity based off of a win that he had previously over Sean O'Malley. Again, he is only losing to the tippity top of this division, but I think this fight will prove that Figueredo is one of those fighters here at 135 pounds. And then we get to the main event, a really interesting fight in the bantamweight division as Corey Sanhagen goes up against Umar Nurmagomedov. Sanhagen has won three in a row, the last two by decision. He has beaten Song Yadong, uh, Chido Vera, and Rob Font. Well, Nurmagomedov has beaten everybody. He is 17-0, he is 5-0 in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Three finishes, the one thing that is keeping me from just absolutely locking in Nurmagomedov. And he is a pretty big favorite on this card. The one thing that is keeping me from doing that is this is a substantial jump up in competition. Not undeserved, because he has been absolutely controlling guys in this, um, in this weight class. But this is a monster step up for him. I do think he wins this fight. Not enough to put um, any kind of a... Any kind of a sprinkle on it. Um, but I, I do think that he comes away victorious in this bout. One thing I would look, and I, I didn't look at the odds before this, so apologies. Um, and quite frankly, I don't know if they were up yet. I would consider just going by decision in this. Um, Corey Sanhagen is an absolute motherfucker to finish. And um, Nurmago might have three finishes and five fights in the UFC. But again, that giant step up in competition. I don't know if he's going to be able to put Sanhagen away. Which then leads to the question, is he going to be able to outpoint him for five rounds? Um, which leads to a, a bit of a bigger one. My answer to that is yes, but you can, you can clearly hear that I am not necessarily fully locked in. On, um, on, on old Nermi uh, to, to pick up a win here um, out in Abu Dhabi. But I think it's going to be a really, really interesting bout coming up this weekend. 